So when Neanderthals left Africa, they had, or when the line leading to Neanderthals and Denisovans left, they had some rudimentary ability for symbolic culture, and this is reinforced by the fact that they also share what was thought to be an important gene that controls for language. So, yes, they were on this, they started out with the same abilities, but African humans went further in developing them. Gene for language, Ed? If FOXP2 is the yeah. gene in question here, the, um, this is a gene whose function is known because there is a family in the British Isles, I think, that has um, an inherited disorder. This family, well, you knock out one copy of this gene, and um, the um, disease phenotype is that people have a hard time processing speech and language and some other more subtle aspects of the phenotype, like they have a hard time keeping a steady rhythm. Um, this is somehow related to only having one copy, active copy of this gene. This gene is also interesting, it was way more interesting maybe five, ten years ago, um, because if you look at the version of this gene, FOXP2, um, in humans and compare it to the chimpanzee version, there are two differences in a region in this gene that's otherwise really highly conserved, even out to mice. So mice have this gene. The function of this gene, more generally, is that it binds DNA and turns on other genes. So it's one of these regulators of uh, gene function. So it has some crucial differences, perhaps even since chimpanzee, and we know something uh, that it's related to speech and language. It's one of the first things we wanted to look at in Neanderthals. In fact, we went and pulled out the DNA for this gene before we even got the genome and found, quite to our surprise, that these two differences are shared with the Neanderthals. And we know now they're also shared with the Denisovans. So whatever, um, whatever benefit toward speech and language this gene confers was shared with the Neanderthals. But having said that, speech and language are almost certainly, they are, um, multigenic, highly complex traits that aren't just the result of a single gene. So um, if Neanderthal, it's a, it's a huge, interesting, open question, and I would love to hear everyone else's opinion about this, whether or not Neanderthals could talk, and is this the conduit of um, networking, of cultural transmission that, that you envision? Um, if they could talk, then... Um, Perhaps that's not the reason why we beat them, but if they couldn't, then it's an obvious candidate. And that's not my idea. That idea has been around for a long time, that, that they were deficient in this way, and we were not. And it was, you know, if you think about all the things that you know, and um, calculate how much of that you figured out yourself versus was told to you, it's obvious how important this is, speech and language, and, and being able to communicate through language. It's what makes us so incredible. We're Neanderthals incredible in that way, too. 